Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Director of Education at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action Bema from Home. Today we're going to try our hand at finger crochet. I love this technique because it's really easy to pick up. It translates from one material to the next. You can use yarn or shredded clothing or rope or wire. And it also works on a variety of different scales from tiny to jewelry scale to sculptural scale. And if you do enough of it, you can build something amazing. So let's get started. All you need to start this project with is some yarn. I have a ball here. Once you've found the end, you make a loop. That's just a loop. And you pass the long end that's attached to your ball back through the loop and pull it snug. This is what is called a slip knot, and you can see it right here. It's got one tail that's dangling and the rest of the yarn is attached to the ball. This is the beginning of your finger crochet. Holding on to the end of the tail, you take your two fingers and pull the long end of the yarn through the loop, just so. That's the only thing you're going to do repeated pull the long end of the yarn through the loop. Gradually your yarn loop will get bigger so you'll need to pull back down on the long end of the yarn to make it smaller, but each step is the same repeat. Pull with your fingers through the loop and pull it snug. Pull with your loop. Pull through the loop. Pull through the loop. And snuggle it up, pull through the loop, and so on, and so on. And you've got a chain stitch of finger crochet where you've taken your fingers and you've done the crocheting instead of with a hook. I've made a bunch now and I'm ready to end. So I have the loop that I've ended with and the piece of yarn still attached to the ball. With my scissors, I trim a long tail and I pull that tail through the loop and pull it snug. And you can see that there's a little knot there at the end. Now I've got a long piece of finger crocheted yardage and it's time for me to think about some things that I could make from that. It's as simple as tying something together. This could be a belt or something to hold something together. Or you could think of the piece more sculpturally and start from one end and create a coil that could be stitched together as you went to make a little rug for a pet. It could be a pad for a plant to sit on. Uh, it could be a little soft thing to share with a friend. Or it could be a medallion to hang from your neck. I don't know about you, but that exercise really got me excited about getting back into my workspace and continuing to make something giant out of finger crocheted wire. And we'll see what happens. We'd love to see what you're making and what kinds of ideas this inspires for you. You can tag us at hashtag Bima from home or leave us a comment and we will be so excited to see what's going on in your neck of the woods. Until next time, it's art in action.